So I've been trying to make a little series on kind of like lesser known, lesser appreciated GNOME desktop apps. And I might turn this into like a uh, playlist of sorts. We'll see. But we're going to tell you, we're going to look at GNOME Maps, the native map tool for the GNOME desktop. Now this is really a kind of bare bones tool. Um, it's not going to work for everybody. I mean, if you're used to Google Maps, there's a lot of things you can do with Google Maps, but this does give you the added benefit of being relatively native feeling and speed and privacy centric. Now all the, um, the tiles of course are supplied by Mapbox, a for-profit company that does work with open street maps but they are supplying the tiles. So you need to be on the internet to make this thing work. It's not really an offline mode. But again, if privacy is your number one, this is not a bad option. So let's start real quick by, right now it's in dark mode, which is pretty cool. I like the fact that it's dark mode. You can turn that off and go the daytime mode. Has this function here, export as an image, which is very nice. There you go, include route and markers. You can get rid of that. Makes a nice little PNG file, whatever your size your window is. Even works in dark mode and even works in satellite view. That's right, we have a pseudo anonymous, kind of free and open source satellite view. Is it as up to date as Google Maps? No, but does it work in a pinch? Definitely, and is it privacy focused? Most, absolutely, definitely. Here we are, taking a peek. Oh, look at this, you can see the light streaks from the reflective building. I've been down there, it's very reflective and just, it's like a prism. So yeah, find your favorite restaurants, find where you're going, things. Here's my, uh, I think this is my favorite little Outback Steakhouse right here, back, you know, when you could go to restaurants. Super fun, see all Shoreline Village. But it does a pretty good job. I can, you can see I was here searching for Taco Bell. Taco Bell, Long Beach. Now, if you just do a search on its own, like just Taco Bell by itself, no idea. If you look here, the hover says Barcelona. <laughs> we don't want to go to a Taco Bell in Barcelona. But we can find Taco Bells in Long Beach and Long Beach Boulevard, Stearns. I think that's the one we want. Let's try Stearns. Yeah, there we go. Taco Bell and Stearns. Not far from my house. I'm going to switch over actually to the map view. Makes the size of things a bit more digestible. So yeah, I could find that Taco Bell and Stearns. This also does a pretty good job of finding major historic landmarks. Like, I'm not very far from Disneyland. Oh, it is Disneyland. There we are. And you get a good size. You can see the whole layout of the park. And yes, um, you can see the satellite view. However, I think there's this, yeah, there's a bit old. All of Star Wars land is not showing up yet. Um, that's okay. It still shows you all the important stuff. You can see you got your, your magic castle and all that good stuff. There's no 3D mode. We just barely got the tiles. The tiles are pretty deep. I mean, you can zoom in pretty good. I don't know. Anyone's ever been there, you can actually make out people. So it's not like it's a super low resolution version of it. I think there's a certain point. Yeah, there you go. You zoom out enough. The smaller one is even older. It shows before the construction. I kind of wish they showed the date of when the street tiles were done. So you get kind of a different picture at different depths. But it does work and it works pretty good. It does offer limited turn by turn, which is something very cool. I have trouble using anything other than the, the car mode. I went the pedestrian and bicycle and bus route. Unfortunately, there's not enough data on the public only one, but if you're just doing a quick driving, like you want to know how to get, say, say, Shoreline Village, Shoreline Village, Long Beach to Disneyland. Nope, oh, there it goes. Boom does a pretty good job of generating that from a service called Graph Hopper that uses OpenStreetMaps to build um, driving directions. So that's a pretty fast way, freeway route. I don't drive in California. I'm one of the few people in the Los Angeles area 
that doesn't drive, I say one of the few peoples. There's millions of us, literally millions of us don't, but if you're not native, you may not know that. Um, yeah. So yeah, driving directions, um, you can find things with it. You can even log into your open street maps to start editing. I've done a little bit of editing on open street maps and I highly recommend if you haven't started adding at least the things in your neighborhood to open street maps, anything you can do to keep it updated and to add to it is super awesome. All right guys, this was a little video, a little short one. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, thumbs up if you dig it, thumbs down if you don't dig it, I get it. Um, and if you haven't subscribed already and you dig this, subscribe. That helps the algorithm. That helps my watch time. All right, guys. Peace.